Hello there. Well, I was a little apprehensive about uh, posting that video that I posted last week about my recent aortic adventures. I've not really posted very personal videos like that in the past, but I'm glad I did. Um, the messages that you left, the messages of support and kindness were, were very uplifting and uh, they gave me even more cause to be grateful. Thank you very much for sending those messages through. And uh, I kind of thought today I might uh, mention the fact that during my, during my recovery time, which I'm pleased to say is coming along very well, I'm back on my bicycle now, um, people have, have recommended a bunch of books. And uh, one friend gave me this book by Australian ju journalist Julia Baird, Phosphorescence. And it's, it's a, well, rather than try and explain it, I'll read the back cover that uh, I think explains it pretty well. How do we continue to glow when the lights turn out? All we can do really is keep placing one foot on the earth, then the other, to seek out ancient paths and forests, certain in the knowledge that others have endured before us. We must love and we must look outwards and upwards at all times, caring for others, seeking wonder and stalking awe every day to find the magic that will sustain us and fuel the light within, our own phosphorescence. Beautiful words and, and a beautiful idea and I've only sort of dabbled in this book so far but I've really enjoyed it and uh, I look forward to getting more into it as well. The other one is a, a slightly more kind of, maybe a bit more academic, um, Humankind, A Hopeful History by Rutger Bregman. I only picked this one up yesterday and, and spent a few hours reading it yesterday as well. You may recall this guy, Rutger Bregman. He's a, he's a Dutch, I think he's Dutch, uh, historian. And uh, he sort of made a bit of a noise I think it might have been in the early 2019 when he turned up at the World Economic Forum and shared some home truths with some of uh, some of the world's uh, wealthiest plutocrats. And uh, so now he's written a book, and it's a it's sort of a look at, at at human nature. It's a more positive idea than the sort of Lord of the Flies thesis that sees us all always on the on the verge of tearing strips off one another and it emphasizes our kind of need for collaboration, our need to work together, our need for empathy and, and, and so on. But it's, you know, it's a serious piece of work that draws on history. So looking forward to spending more time with this book too. Humankind, A Hopeful History by Rutger Bregman. Thank you. I'm very pleased to have uh, spared you another 15 minute outing and uh, I'll talk to you again very soon. Cheers.